instilled in you to take over in those moments? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, the first thing you said at the first, you know, when the team trades you to be that guy, you know, that's what I work to be, you know, and there's those moments call for, for those things. And it's not always, you know, I mean, I had in the, in the fourth, but it's not always just through scoring. You know, sometimes it's making the plays to create um, and get guys open shots in the fourth as well. So just doing it through different ways, you know, on a night to night basis and tonight a call for scoring and just trying to, you know, set the tone. Uh, but the biggest thing is we end up getting stops late, you know what I mean? And obviously, you know, we see all the work, all the shots that are going for me, but it take, it's bigger than that, you know what I mean? I think the biggest thing is we were able to execute down the stretch. Um, and the shots were falling, and sometimes if they blitz, you know, make the right play. What were you talking to Jaden about the post game? Um, to not get used to losing. Like, and I don't mean that disrespectfully. I mean that, like, you know, I've, I saw him play at Purdue. You know, he's talented. You know what I mean? I think the, the biggest thing is, like, you can it can become, you know, who you are, especially if that's your first experience in the league. And I talked to him when he got drafted, um, you know, just a little bit. You know, I think the biggest he's a, he's a talent. He's going to be good. He's going to get better. But, you know, don't get satisfied. I could saw he was pissed, which, you know, I was, it was good to see that, you know, but don't don't let that define you, you know what I mean? And that's the, that's the biggest thing is because, you know, it can go that way, you know, for a young player. So, and you can tell he wants it. He just doesn't quite know how just yet, you know, and figuring that out. And that takes time, you know, especially when you're a top pick. You know, there's always going to be eyes and going to be scrutiny. There's going to be different things. So, uh, for me, just to be able to tell him that. Uh, we have the same agent, too, you know, so, so I know him. So, just being able to kind of give him that confidence as well. Not everyone talk about the plays down the stretch. Jared was so big Man. in those final two minutes. And he was dealing with the illness on, yeah. on, on top of that, but just and this streak of double doubles that he's on on he's top phenomenal. of it, just what's what's he mean? He's phenomenal. Like I don't really, just when you think he can't top top it, he does in some way, shape, or form. You know, uh, there was a time on the fast break in, in the fourth when I just pushed it for no, I shouldn't have drove into traffic, and I jump and turn around and he's right there, sick and all. Like he, he told me on the bench before he came in, like I don't know if I got much for you, and to see him sprinting the floor to kind of be there for me. Um, you know, and that just says a lot, you know what I mean, just his will, you know what I mean, to continue to fight, to be able to, you know, in the past I had to be able to get it done, to get the rebounds, you know, to contest the shots, you know, um, you know, just to be able to will himself, you know, like I said, I, we see the points, we see the scoring, but, you know, at the end of the day, we had to get stops in order to win these games, too. Um, that came from everybody, but, you know, a big part of it was him. Adam, you know, on, on, the, on the court, in that moment, when he said he didn't have, didn't know what mm -hmm. he had to give to you. What'd you say to your big brother to keep him inspired? I told him I understand. You know, sometimes you you got to dig deep as an individual. It didn't really take much from me, you know, to say anything. I just told him, hey, I feel you. Like, if you come in, I'll be right there with you. If not, like, you're, you're good for the night. I actually, he probably not want to say that. I actually told him, I was like, go ahead and sit down. Like, you know, <laughs> you've worked your ass off. Like, it's okay to, you know, not finish the game. We're not going to be mad at you. We get it. You're just out there fighting for his life. Um, and for him to come out there and not only come out there but be productive, you know, and be able to communicate, be able to, it's tough for really. it's tough to, to breathe when you're sick, it's tough to talk and to be able to do all that, it's dunking, blocking shots, you know, changing, altering shots, um, that's, that's huge. What'd you think of DG tonight? Obviously, yeah. you, you came over with the welcome back for him. Yeah, yeah, good to see him <laughs> back, man. Like, you could feel the energy, you know, with him. Um, when Ev came back, Ev's a little more quiet, reserved as we all know, but DG's, you know, running around the gym, you know, and different energy, so you could tell. It was good, it was like, it was good life, like good life, the energy to shoot around, and then for him to come back, he just felt, even at the beginning of the game, kind of hiding behind, getting the steal, you know, getting the full point play slide, and you know, on his, on his chest, like just finding that, that joy, you know, with, with him to come back. I think it was pretty, pretty great to see, and you know, as he continues to, sorry, continues to build and, you know, get back into his rhythm and his shape, you know, we'll only get better and better. How do, like, how do you feel like he can get it going off ball? Maybe the, the way that he might have, you know, be able to kind of observe that when he was on the sidelines. Yeah, I think you know that's just the next evolution. I think. When you know him and I just having that development, you know, continue. Sometimes it's me, sometimes it's you. Just being able to understand. And now, you know, you look at it. He's picking spots. And when I think about it, I think it was the four point play. I come off two screens. They're looking at me, and then he's flying off two screens. Um, I think that was when he got fouled for the four point play. Um, and now he gets he gets open shot off that. Like you look at it, like you have to respect my drive. Now it's you. You know, I've done that for so much in my career. That's like the next layer for him, being able to do both. Um, that's what we talk about when we say playing with each other, you know, as far as being able to create and, you know, not always just be on the ball. And I think we're building towards that. He's seen it, so now being able to continue to build towards it. And, you know, I have no doubt we'll continue to flourish to that. Um, your own steals are up this year. Uh, is there anything that you're seeing differently on the defensive side? Um, I think the biggest thing is just in the system, you know, when you have a year under your belt, understanding that I only I used to have one seven-footer, now I have two. <laughs> you know what I mean? And now also just being in the right places, anticipation. 
Um, and a lot of it comes from film work. I think that's a very underrated thing about this league is like being able to understand where guys' tendencies, where guys want to be, what plays they like to run in certain moments. Um, you know, I was talking to my dad last night literally about what you just said, and there was a play where I stole the ball from the Clippers game and Mason Plumlee uh, was about to get a pocket pass. Just knowing that the play is coming right there, being able to get there, and just being able to take my film work to another level, uh, not just the offensive, I think it's helping for sure. Okay, it's coming right from Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.